this is my second program on uh, accessing or fetching the stock price live stock price from NSE website the first uh, tutorial which I have given my previous video is uh, a step-by-step -step command that how you can access uh, live stock price from the NSE website that code is there in the Jupyter notebook in my previous uh, video tutorials it is a line by line uh, syntax is given and that code uses a, a beautiful soup library which is a web scrapping library to uh, fetch the uh, live price so it is a it is a web scrapping tutorial as well uh, but the use case is to access the live stock price in this tutorial uh, we are going to take a next step and the next step is we are going to develop a command line tool and uh, this tool will use it will take two arguments one argument is stock code and second is a threshold value so what it will do uh, it will fetch the live stock price for the stock code uh, passed as an argument and it will keep checking the live stock price if the price is higher than the threshold value it will send a message to a given number for sending message uh, I'm using way to SMS API uh, this way to SMS API is um, it provides certain free messages you can register you via user mobile number and once you register it will give you keys and these keys you have to use in the code actually so if you see that one uh, this is a URL you have to use in the way to SMS and then uh, this is a function which I have written send message it takes two stock two variable uh, two argument a stock code and stock price so this is stock code and stock price is uh, is going to form a message like if you can see that one let me go uh, one by one so API key and secret key you will get from the way to SMS uh, website once you register once you sign up use type you have to keep as a stage phone number is the phone number where you want to send a message and message is basically which will a uh, text the text which will be displayed on your mobile number so here it will be like current stock price for like Asian paint is something something sender ID you can put your name or anything so this is the this is the uh, function which I wrote for sending the message using uh, way to SMS API now uh, see the most important use case for this uh, tool is basically sometime uh, you don't know when your stock price is high and low in case of intraday uh, if you want to buy something for the same day or sell something on the same day now <coughs> this utility will help you that when for example if you have a stock and the price is 100 rupees and if you want to sell the same day that in case the price goes to 110 rupees or something then you can run on your laptop and the moment the price is above 100 rupees and it is crosses crossing 110 rupees uh, you will get a message you can add a use case for the beep also or something which can alert you and then you can go and you can sell or you can buy what you want to do so uh, the main function is a fetch NSE stock price it takes one stock code and this stock code is basically will be added in this URL uh, which is NSE URL to fetch the live stock price again uh, if you want a detail please see my previous video it has everything uh, in a detail for this fetch NSE stock price function so response is basically the uh, it is a get request when it is a send so the content which returned from the website is a response and then using beautiful soup library uh, we extract the live stock price so this whole function is basically take one argument that is a stock code and return the stock price current stock price corresponding to the stock code now the whole code is like that one I am just passing two argument one is a stock code and second is threshold value and I am putting this in a loop actually using so this function is basically returning the current stock price and stored in the variable current stock price and it is compared with the threshold value so if current stock price is greater than the stock threshold value then the message comes like you got it or the stock price is high something like that one and then the message send method is called with the stock code and the current price 
and the response comes in the response variable, variable if the message sent is successful. In case the price is not high, then it will be keep printing the current stock price with the uh, along with the threshold value. So hope you understood that uh, it is a very simple code. Um, and let me execute it. If you have any problem when you uh, go through this code, I will push this code to the GitHub and you can access it, you can modify it and you can use it as you want. Please note that I have not added too many uh, error handling and all the things because uh, it may increase the length of the video and length of the code. It can make more complicated, which is not my intention. So first you understand the code and then um, beyond you can do anything what you want. So let me run the code actually. So uh, I'm just calling this code NSE livestock dot PY is the code actually and this is PI and is the stock price and 300 is the price I'm putting. So what it is going to do that one. I know that when the current stock price for a state bank of India SBI N is 280 plus something not 300 rupees. It is less than 300 rupees. So it will be in a loop actually and it will keep printing that one. What is the current price and what is the uh, threshold value? Let me see that one. You can see that when it is showing that when the code is PIN, current value 286.55 threshold 300 rupees. I am I'm just making this video in the night actually. So the stock market is closed right now. You will not see any change in the price. Please run this code in the daytime when the stock market is open. So it will it will be keep printing like that one. So the moment it will be up, uh, you will get a message. Uh, it is a very difficult use case for me to show that one because even though if we put any price in the daytime, we have to wait that when the price is high. So what I will do right now, I will break this code and what I'm going to do that one, I will just give a lower value. You see that one, 286.55 is the price. So I will give 280. This means what I'm saying that one, if the stock price is for a state bank of it is more than 280 rupees, then send a message. So definitely it is more than 280 rupees, it will send a message. Now, um, how can I see that when my message is uh, uh, delivered or not? For that, I'm using a utility which is called uh, AirDroid actually. So AirDroid is a utility which can replicate your screen on your PC actually. So let me first replicate my screen. So I'm just, uh, let me open that AirDroid. Is IP I have, you please, I will give the detail of the AirDroid also if you want. Oh, one eight one six one dot eighty four. why it is saying that not available. Two and two, sorry, it is my Wi-Fi. Just uh, try it once again. Some problem is coming. Yeah, now it is working. So you can see that when this is my mobile screen in the form of laptop screen, something. Message if I go here and there is no message as of now, um, I will go and run the code. So I'm putting here 280. So now if it is 280 price is high right now, it will send a message. The stock price is up and message send is successful. You can see that when it is success, let me go back here and you can see that a message should come here. Yes. So current stock price for SVN is 286.55. You got the message. So like I said that when you can add a beep also or something, you can do that one. So this was the whole objective of the um, of the, the session that one, how you can send a message on your mobile when the stock price is high and you can avail the opportunity to sell it at the right time. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe it. That will be great support for me. Thank you very much. If you have any difficulty to understand the code, please write in the comment. I will definitely answer that your question. Thank you very much.